We'll try again now. I know it's on that show on record rather than on the photo. But anyway, hello everyone and welcome. Now, a couple of things, and hopefully you can hear me okay in this section here. I'm sure people are more than happy to tell me down below if they can't hear me. Um, just to, just to basically a bit, a bit about that is, um, I'm not sure what I can do in a minute. I'm not a serious enough YouTuber to, oh, YouTuber, yeah, I suppose I am a, technically a YouTuber as I upload videos to YouTube, in a sense of that, that's as far as it goes sort of thing. But anyway, um, yes, so as far, I'm not serious enough sort of to get a separate microphone for the lapel or anything like that, but if it keeps being such a big issue, I might have to look into that. Just because, you know, these must, but, the, the thing is, when I do get comments down there, um, just bear in mind, I do then go back and watch the video. I will personally go and watch the video, I will check it on this, I will check it on the iPad, um, and, you know, well, fine and fine on those. I then tried the last one though, I then tried on the computer, and yes, it was quiet. So I, I don't know. Because if I didn't have access to a PC and I did everything through my phone and my iPad, I'd never, never know. I'd just be able to keep going, it's fine to me. And that's why if you've got that reply to from me, that's why you've got that. Because I check it on those and yeah, it's fine. Um, so whether the, iPad, uh, the Apple devices have got some sort of booster um, to the sound, I don't know. But yeah, so... I did think about trying to do a voiceover one for this video when I come to looking over there at the layout. Um, I've got the sounds playing of the manor, so let me know if you can hear him shoveling coal in a minute. You might be able to hear the water, the injectors going on at some point as well. And they've already played while it's something recording. And right on cue, there they are. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm really not sure. But this microphone is a lot more sensitive to my voice before than it is now, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, so a lot's been happening. So first off, we've had a new arrival here. There's two more due tomorrow. Uh, they're a bit more of a frivolous one than what two are due tomorrow. But uh, this one, now, when I lived beyond my means, um, I had bills to pay and I had to sell models to you know, pay bills, and unfortunately two of the ones I sold were gifts. Now, I've replaced one already, Green Arrow, now I'm living life more sensibly, and I hadn't replaced the other one. And this one came up on Ellis Clark, and I thought, right, well, it's Big Four era, that's what I love. Uh, the frivolous one coming tomorrow is actually BR. Um, it's, it's, it's an LMS engine, but it's a BR liveried one, but uh, you'll have to wait and see that. But it is one of Mr. Fairburn's lovely 264 tank. This was DCC fitted for uh, that sun there. And it is in not the um, it's not in the the yeah, Clark your form thing there. It's not in the Ivert livery, it's actually in the LMS shaded lettering. So now I have corrected the wrongs, the wrongs being living beyond your means. So there's a lesson if you're a youngster watching this, live beyond your means, don't spend every penny, just in case. <laughs> it is still possible to collect trains and that without doing that. I promise. But uh, yes, so. Uh, Interesting, the frivolous one coming tomorrow is, is only eight pounds more than this. Uh, it's also a Batman model, so yeah, have a, have a think amongst yourselves what that could be. But, um, yeah, so I'm very pleased to have corrected the, the mistakes of the past, as it were, and both are now back in, in business. Okay, moving on. So, um, a bit of a me update, I suppose. Uh, not been so good, I've had a bit of a wobbly today actually um i've noticed it's, it's very strange i'm just going to bring it up briefly here 
because the results have been good, ultimately, I think. But I noticed there's an Instagram post where um, there was someone starting at one of the Monterey clubs in the country starting a Japanese engage layout. And it just, I don't know, it just sent me a downward spiral. And I eventually, I sat and I don't want to show this particularly because uh, some of it's personal, you know, but basically boiled down to, with my mom, the memories of the, the, the rubbish I faced when I went through it in mind, um, and any, because I have always got, had the intentions to come back and do a Japanese layout, a better Japanese layout, regardless of anything British I'm doing, there would be a big Japanese layout somewhere there, if not two or three. Um, got so many ideas for it. And I just had a fear of, after being not the first, not, not no pretense of being the first here, this is just one of the first maybe on YouTube posting regularly, if not if not the first on YouTube posting regularly from the UK about Japanese trains. If there is someone else out there, and you know of them, or they, you're watching this, you're the person, come and say hi. I mean, I've been posting Japanese trains since about 2019, 2018, 2019, so yeah, that's the point of reference there, but uh, yeah, and, and I just feared that it, 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 I, in my head it was all going, Oh, uh, well, you know, anything I do now is going to be a reference. Oh, that's such, that's like such and such of this channel that's really blown up with it. And yeah, doing really well. It's like, yeah, that little bit of not fair. Uh, envy would be there and being compared to others' work and, and that. So yes, and there, there was another bit there. But also within that, because of those feelings, I was starting to feel like a gatekeeper, which is the last thing I want to do, so. Yes, so I, and this is why I was getting myself upset. So, um, this might help you folks. So, write it down. Write down what the issue is, then why it's an issue, or how it's making you feel. And then I wrote down, can I control it? No, no, so I can't control what other people make. I can't control people going, I bet Chris would like this, and sending me the link. Um, yeah, and it's a, it, but, but also at the same time, my feelings are valid ones, you know, they may not be the best founded. So, here's the important thing what can I do about it? Well, I suppose, in a way, if channels do take off on YouTube, maybe I took the flack. It's just one way to look at it. Maybe I took the flack so these other ones can succeed, and that's such that's a good one. Um, And basically, to, to build my own one and be part of the fun. So with that in mind, I was looking at doing something on the lower level here again. Once the upper level double O is sorted out, that's not going anywhere. Um, all I need, I've got to put the second track order in, uh, which is to complete the track plan here. Um, once that's in and established, I'll be able to make, try, I'm going to try and engineer it in a way where I can still fit the double track loop underneath maybe the double track one or the single track at least just to uh, be able to have a layout underneath there and it was potentially going to be 009 or it now appears it's going to be, it's going to be Japanese so basically not as it appears it is going to be Japanese and I'll limit the 009 to elsewhere but anyway excuse me um got hiccups I'll have a, I'll have a drink I'm trying to keep this down time wise So yeah, so if you are a UK-based Japanese modeler, you know what to do, to put the tippy-tappies, I want to check your channels out, I want to see what you're doing, I want to make it a positive feeling in my head, not a, not a, not a, not a gatekeeping one or a one, because I don't like being sad. So it's that, that's something I can control, is my reactions to it, so let's, let's see it. Right, um, on the subject of Japan, and Japanese things that I really enjoy is the works of Studio Ghibli. I don't make a secret of this. Do, 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 do. See if that gets copyright strike. <laughs> but yesterday I went to the stage production of uh, Spirited Away uh, by the Toho Company. I believe it was. This is only showing currently in Japan and in London. 
Uh, we went by Chilton Trains, I got the DVT uh, raking the way down, there's 68 at the front, oh, uh, pushing, which is the first for me, so actually I'll put the clip in. So there we are. <laughs> um, long time since it's been on a, on a, is that a Mark III set? Someone know? Let me know. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And the show was fantastic. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, I can recommend though, if you're getting tickets to London Coliseum, particularly if you're in, on the upper levels, one, there's a lift up there. Two, make sure if you want to go down to the bigger, bigger shop at the bottom, that you've got a copy of your ticket with you because the guy got really funny with me and it's like yeah man i've just spent 48 quid upstairs on the merch um <laughs> you, know, you, you literally walk watch me walk past you on the way out here and i'm wearing my uh, not the i'm wearing this as a t-shirt i've got my uh, hoodie which is on other videos with the twin fish on them and it's got a huge thing it's like yeah and me bright bright green hat as well anyway he's got to do his job he's got to do his job but, uh, yeah, it was sort of getting a bit silly. It was, his, his tone was a little bit rude straight away. Got my back up a little bit, you know. But anyway, got it sorted. Mum's just having to the ticket down and off I went. But anyway, so the merch I got. I got picked up this key ring, which is utterly beautiful. So, do go and see the cab. The puppetry is amazing. It's, it is just incredible. Um, I got a pin badge, which seems to be exclusive to this particular tour. And of course the obligatory t-shirts. Now they had another design which are really nice. The trouble is, I, I use XL, but I still feel I need XL just for the, 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 the height and the arm length a little bit. Um, whether I'd have got away with a large, we had a really nice one for the large. I know I've got um, a bit of a belly, but uh, still, it'd be nice. Uh, they came in medium and large, those ones. So you know, little uh, white spots in it with different character shadows in it, so that's it. That would have been really cool, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, that was, that was really cool. And on the way back, we had, it was a double unit. It was a 168, which I don't know if that's like a long distance version of the Turbo Star or what. Or if that is a Turbo Star, and I've been calling the 170 something wrong. Again, let me know. And I have no idea what we were actually on, but it wasn't a turbo star. It wasn't anything of that family as such. It had a completely different sort of front end, but I didn't catch the number, so I wasn't able to tell. I won't be able to tell you the. Uh, if anyone knows, it was on the 2100 departure from London Marylebone to Birmingham Moor Street yesterday. That's what I was on, was the lead unit on that. And that was very comfortable. Very, very good. And something else. Once I find out the class, again, let me know if you know. Um, uh, then. Um, that's another one to add to my list of new haulage, but yes. So, on with modern railway matters. I do take a pitch for that one. Um, so what have I been doing? Well, I have been wrestling with what I'm doing now. LNER was the last video, I think it was. I did the train sim one, actually I'm train sim here. And then Manda's on for effect. I want to see if he can catch the sand on, on here. Um, but one thing I, 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 did, I did went to London, BR London, and London, 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 but um, it gives me suggestions that I can work, just work my way through, through it rigidly. And then there's another train I want to add to this. Um, but that's easy enough to slot in for now and I'll print out a new one of these. But if you want to use it and borrow it for your own idea or give you an idea, there you are. Feel free to screenshot that and make use of it. And let me know if you do make use of it. It'd be great to see how, you know, if you let me know in the comments on this video, I can go and check your channel out. You can show how we're all using on yours um now the five minute real time departures actually work pretty well because especially you got an engine with sound i was having to use the manor because there's six seven trains here and there's seven trains total with the new one i want to add which i'm adding in 
Um, it, uh, it required more engines than I had for the BL and the Minor engine. In fact, I had to use two of the Vessel Reed engines in, in the Fervent and the uh, Coal Tank and the uh, 1500 to, to, to actually do this fully. But when you got an engine with sound in, in, in the manor, which was handy representing trains to Birmingham, when it's sat, sitting there for five minutes doing all these noises and simmering away, it's very, very realistic to what you imagine. Remember, these branch lines were not hectic main lines. There was periods when the engine would just be sat still, not doing anything, waiting for departure time. So, yeah, so that's really, really cool. So anyway, um, you probably already guessed, but we're going to head over to the lab and see which company I have settled with. And this plays in with the Japanese thing really hand in hand. It should provide such a different appearance between the two and look really amazing. So I'll see you over the layout. Well, of course, it was only going to be Great Western. I'm trying to speak a bit louder here to uh, so you can actually hear me. But um, yes, it's amazing actually just how far that flickering firebox is extending. I was hearing it off the cardboard there. Um, Yes, yeah, so these are my four DCC fitted engines. There should be five, but the Pagia. I did a st straight swap where I unsoldered the PCB on this and got the replacement, more modern one from Backman. Soldered it straight in because the pickups were already coming from the tender on two wires. Sorry, from the from the wheels on two wires. So basically, you soldered the contacts of that, of the, that and from that P, of, uh, from so desoldered those from the PCB. Desoldered the. Um, wires from the PCB to the to the motor and basically put the new new one with the DCC ready uh, socket in it um, which I got from back to the spares plug the uh, decoder in off we go you know should have been exactly the same for the panel for some reason it's your thing so I have no idea it's gonna have to be sent off to be done I believe so uh, yeah there is that but these are my say these are my four DCC fitted engines currently um, and uh, yeah, so basically I'm going to be doing that. So hopefully, he says, uh, won't be next weekend actually now because I'm at the Great Central. Um, but yes, so that, that, that's that. So yeah, be, the only real thing changing is we're going to get the bigger points in here, the flatter one. The run round loop grows slightly to accommodate the extra length there. And then it'll be a two, a two siding good shed here. And that's why I haven't put any more f uh, the foam in that down because I need to know how wide it's going to be because the angle is a lot flatter. If we have a look at uh, that there, comparatively, it's a lot flatter angle on the track, so it may not stick out so far, uh, which would be fantastic because it needs more scenery here at the front part for. Japanese lab because he's really Japanese lab should be single track. A lot of a lot of Japan's track is still single. And the places I'm looking at photographs of now they're inspiring me. So yeah. So anyway, just to see us off at the end of the video. Been a bit of a long one this one, isn't it? But uh, hey, we'll have um, Hinton Manor. I've got to admit, I'm tempted to get a second one of these, <laughs> which is why they have stock, you know. But we'll have Hinton Manor depart. Light engine. I've got to be careful because I haven't got the uh, 30 yard installed. <laughs> but, uh, tell you what, we'll bring it back as well. I know I didn't really do a video introducing the manor like I did the Fairburn, so you have to take this one as that. Um, I figured I shouldn't bother, didn't need to bother. Because, um, so many people have reviewed it already, and if you've watched Robert's Train Set at all, 
you'll see it at the beginning and the end of his video, this sound, so not this actual manner, obviously he's got a cooker manner, but um, sorry to the sound off there briefly, sorry then. But uh, so yes, I, I have got one now, so that's, that's the main thing I've got. I right. uh, got to show there, but anyway. Right, so take care all, stay tuned and be well, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.